Welcome friends, Paul Alto Firewall session 19. In this session, we are going to see how to configure OSPF and RIP routing protocol on Paul Alto Firewall and how to redistribute this. Okay, so, so this one is our topology guys. So here we are using one Cisco router. Cisco router to headquarter firewall guys, we are going to use RIP routing protocol and this Cisco router uh, I had place in the DMZ zone. Okay, after that headquarter and branch office between these two we are going to configure OSPF area 0. Okay, so this one is our topology. So guys, let's start the configuration. Okay, so guys, first of all, let me show you. Show IP interface brief. So on the Palo Alto, uh, sorry, this is core router. I have these three network. Show run. Let me show you configuration on this router. I had already advertised my uh, network inside the RIP. Okay, so now we have to start the configuration on the Palo Alto firewall. So guys, right now here we didn't have any configuration. You can see all the network are directly connected and linked. So first of all, we are going to configure here RIP. Okay, so RIP enable, we have to add which, which interface we want to add inside the RIP. So first of all, we have to use Ethernet 1, oh, sorry, Ethernet 3. This one is connected with your Cisco router. Okay, so here to advertise our network, I'm going to advertise one more loopback. Okay, loopback 2. So guys, basically we have to use this loopback as a Passive mode. If I use this loopback as a normal mode, so in that case we cannot configure our uh, RIP routing here. Let me show you that. Okay, here in place of commit, let me use validate. So let's see, guys. You can see this one is asking loopback you can configure it only as a passive mode. Okay, so I have to go back here and configure our loopback as a passive mode inside the RIP. Okay, so change the mode, passive. Okay, done, done. And now let's commit. Okay, so guys, once this commit is done, we should get here 11.0.0 uh, .0 .0 network here on this. Okay, so which one is a part of your this Cisco router? So let me see the commit. 75% guys if you want to stop this so you can click here in place of this action still if you want to revert your configuration so you can revert from your backup let's refresh 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 wait guys now you can see we are getting this network through AR, A means active, R means RIP. So RIP routing protocol is configured on our headquarter router. Now we have to configure OSPF between headquarter and branch office. So let's start from the headquarter. Here, enable this. So guys, here router ID. Okay, so we have to give IP address. So let me use 3.3.3.3, .3 which one is part of my loopback. So here guys, if you are talking about a area, area 0. So you cannot configure here area 0 in this single 0 format. We have to give the in the format of IP address. Okay. So then you have to select interface, which which interface you want to advertise in the OSPF. So first my WAN link. Okay. For testing purpose, guys, I am going to advertise here also one more loopback. Loopback 3. And here, guys, you have to configure your loopback also as a passive mode. If you configure normal, so you are not uh, able to configure your OSPF here. So configuration is done. Let me do commit. Commit. Okay. Meanwhile, I will configure also on the branch office. Same thing here. OSPF enable. Router ID, guys. Uh, let me check. I have here any loopback interface or not? I'm not sure I have or not. No. So, but still, guys, we can use any IP address for the router ID. Okay. OSPF enable. Let me use 4.0. This. Okay. 
so our router id guys so first of all we have to use this and here interface we have to set our interface one inside the ospf done okay so now i have also here one more interface that interface i want to advertise inside the area one okay that one is my lan interface of branch office okay this thing is also done okay so finally configuration done okay and now let me commit here this side as per my configuration commit is done on the headquarter firewall okay now i have to check on the branch office straight guys sometime after this configuration is done we should get here the lan network ip address 192.168.20.0 yeah guys we are getting this here because configuration is almost done here okay and guys here now you can see we are getting this uh, loop back whatever i added as here okay so if you want to see more uh, routing detail of ospf so you can click here you will be get here router id everything is there okay and after that area how many area you are using interface so you will get all this information same information if you want check of the rip so you can check here mm. oh sorry in this we didn't have rip so if you want to check rip information so you have to go here in the headquarter firewall so you can see timer interface peer means neighbor of this okay so guys this one is the way how to configure the ospf and rip on your palo alto firewall now next step we are going to see how to redistribute okay so basically first step we are going to redistribute our rip network inside the ospf for that we have to create redistribution profile oh guys i have already here let me delete these and let me create once again okay so this one is the rip priority i can give anyone and this one is a redistribute and drip okay now this redistribution profile i have to call inside the ospf in export rule add rip okay external network type 2 okay and now let me commit so after this guys we should get our rip network inside the ospf and we are able to communicate with that network from branch office firewall <coughs> okay so go back here check now guys we are getting these both network here okay o2 ospf external type 2 okay so next step guys we have to advertise our o redistribute our ospf inside the rip for that we have to create one more redistribution profile ospf just give the priority 10 ospf we have to advertise which which i want to all go inside the rip export and this done and commit again so guys this one is the way how to configure routing protocol and how to redistribute on the on your uh, palo alto firewall okay right guys let's wait for this commit done so guys inside this we should get this on network did you see this 20.0 we should get this network on our cisco router show ip route okay guys wait some time wait okay straight it will take some time commit is done 
and guys here you are getting all the network we are able to communicate from here redistribution we are getting only this right now let me check here guys all the steps are perfectly configured OSPF okay insert rip export role oh, this one is done show IP protocol okay guys why we are not getting this let me check here oh i think guys i didn't commit here oh i think so let me commit i'm not sure i commit or not but we should get this all these network here within a 30 second if you check here rip timer update interval 30 second so we should get this all these network within a 30 second so commit is done here wait some time Oh, this one is headquarter redistribution profile OSPF. Oh, guys, sorry, this one is the mistake. I forget, click on this. Okay, that's why we are not able to get all these network on the Cisco router. okay so this one is done now let's see here okay so we are getting all the network here so guys this one is the redistribution how to redistribute your um, ospf and if you want to see packet capture ahead enable that so let me see downloading is done open the file inside the wireshark okay and you can see you are all the packet here update request and inside this guys you can see also your lsa type you can see lsa5 external 3 1 okay so you will get all these lsa type here link id okay router id you will get all the detail inside this we have to see all these LSC here. This one is a helpful for the troubleshooting point of view. Okay, guys. So this one is the OSPF configuration. Now, guys, see you in the next video. Okay, till that, take care. Bye.